My knee! Oh, trainer! Oh, get the trainer! Oh, my knee. What'd you do? I bent it outwards. Yeah. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. That's right. pinpoint tenderness. Oh. Up here now? Yeah. All around. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get to the training room. Alright. Can you help me out? Alright. Now we're gonna run through the H and hops. So I'm gonna ask you some questions about the history. So how did you do it? I was training for a basketball match and I went up for a lab. I came down and felt my knee give outward and the pain was very terrible. So, you, so, your knee, so you felt your knee shift laterally, so shift outwards? Yes, it did go It did go outwards and I could feel a little pain. Okay, so you felt a little pain. Where did you feel the pain? I would say right along here towards the back of the knee, more, so okay, so more you, than over here. So it's right around here, so, okay. Yes. So have you ever done this before? Is this frequent? I've had minor knee injuries, but I've never done it to this extent with this much pain. It's really hurting right now. Quite hard right now? Okay. So, so you feel it right around here. So now we're going to, so I'm looking at some observations here. So I see, it looks, looks a little smaller on the right side. Come around to the front, and on the back I can feel, feel a little bit of, you know, a little bit of that. But I see it, as opposed to the other knee, this one looks a little bit more swollen. So now we're going to go into the palpation. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to feel down here, so you feel anything, any pain here? No, it feels fine. Any pain here? No. Up into here? Well, a little tingly. A little tingly right there. Well, you can feel you that, but it's, it's alright. So it's alright. So if I move over here, so I start here, don't feel anything right. there? No. Anything here? No. Right here? A little, yeah. A little bit right there? Yeah. So if I go down a little bit further, do you feel anything in here? Yeah. Right around yeah. here? And if you keep going. Around the back? Yeah. You feel it right there? Mm -hmm. right. So I, I also observed that you kind of you know, moved his knee up a little bit, so I can tell there's a, lot, there's a good bit of pain down inside of here. And I can feel a little bit of inflammation down in here, a little bit of swelling. So, you know, that's something right there. So I can kind of feel that. So, my uh, clinical impression of this one would probably be a uh, strain of the uh, the LCL on the outside, and uh, you know, possibly a little bit of you know, just a lot of inflammation, a lot of swelling. So, gonna have them, you know. We'll, we'll put it in a brace. We'll just, you know, see how it goes for a couple of days. If it doesn't start feeling any better, and you want to start seeing more of a range of motion, then we'll send them for an MRI and see what we can see from that. All right, here we're going to do the Lachman's test. So we're going to go up to 30 degrees. We're going to grab around here. We're going to pull it uh, anteriorly. So we're going to check the ACL. So we move forward. Moving forward, trying to see if his knee is moving anywhere. It's not. So we know that that's intact. So the next thing we're going to do is the valgus and varus. So we're going to start with the valgus. So we're going to bring the distal portions laterally. So you're going to put your hand on the outside of the knee. You're going to pull the distal portion laterally. So we're going to test. We're going to see. So we see it doesn't move anywhere. So we know the MCL is fine. We're going to go the other way, which is the varus. So we're going to check for the left, for the ACL. The ACL. We're going to put forward, go in, and see. It doesn't move for the LC, LCL. We're going to do the anterior drawer test here. So we're going to pull him up to 90 degrees, so his foot be flat there. We're going to do a little test here just to make sure that we, we have it set straight. So we want to make sure that it's straight across here. We don't want to have that uh, false, the false positive for this test. So we're going to push forward on the anterior. So we're going to test here. Ready to put still here. So, uh, I'm sorry. We're going to push forward here. So we're going to see if the knee moves. Nothing moves. So we're good there. So then, when we're going to do the posterior one, we're going to push backwards this way. And we're going to see if that moves anywhere. Which, it moves a little bit, but that's, that's okay. So now, we can do the dial test. So he's going to bring both legs up, like this. And he's going to twist his feet outwards to, face, to make them face outward. So he faces them outward. I'm looking to see if there's any abnormal rotation in the uh, distal portion of his leg, so his lower legs. So for right now, what I see is I feel that the knee feels intact and doesn't feel going any further. I don't see anything going any further. So therefore, we can tell that all the ligaments in there should be intact. Nothing major or major tear in any of the stuff in there. So the structures look pretty good. Okay, so the first thing the trainer did was the HOPS test, which is an acronym 
H meaning history, O meaning observation, P means palpation, and S means special test. And after he did all these things, he went into the special test. First one he did was Lachman's test, which you saw. Second one he did was the varus, varus valgus test. Third one he did was the anterior drawer test, and then also the posterior drawer test. Then to finish it, he did the tile test. He did a thorough, um, he did a thorough evaluation of my knee, and he said he will brace me, and if it does not get better in a couple of days, then he will send me to a doctor and possibly an MRI. So I thank you, trainer. You really did a good job. Knee feels better. I'm 100%. Appreciate it, athletic trainer. Thank you, Mr. Tiberi.